Welcome to City Update. I'm Gavin Mac Roberts, and today I'm joined by Katie Smart. She's with Fable Cumberland Parks and Recreation, and we're here to talk about all the different programs that are available for kids this summer if you want to sign your kids up for summer camp. Now, Katie, tell me a little bit about some of the athletic summer camps you guys have. We have a ton of camps. Um, we offer traditional uh, camps for youth. Um, they are throughout the summer. They're week long. They're $30. Um, most of those ages pertain to 7 to 17 year olds, um, except for volleyball. That's for 9 to 17 year olds. Um, we off also offer a variety of tennis camps throughout the summer. Those are $75 per session. Mm -hmm. um, and then on May 1st, we will be starting our swim camps this year. Um, and those are $90. And those are for kids for 5 to 17 year olds. Now, in addition to the summer camps, you also have regular summer camps for mm -hmm. the kids. Like if you're a working parent like me and, and you want to um, have your kid engaged through the whole summer. Tell me yeah. a little bit about those summer camps. Um, so we offer two camps throughout the summer. Um, we have summer camp at most of your traditional. And we also have three playground summer camps, um, which are just reduce fees to help out if you need some income assistance right now. Um, our traditional day camps are $65 a week. We keep the kids Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. till 6. And then our playground camps are $30 a week and we keep them um, same times, Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 6. So there's tons of options for you guys for childcare this summer. Please get registered now because we are taking registration and they fill up quickly. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And they're all over the city. We have, yep. I think, like 18, 19 rec centers. Yep. And, and so uh, where can a person go if they want to sign up? Um, if you guys are wanting to register, um, they can get registered online at fcpr.us. Um, and also you can get registered at any of your local recreation centers in person. And, and those prices are if you're an in resident, if you live mm -hmm. within the city limits, but if you live with outside of the city limits, like in you're in the county, you can still participate mm -hmm. just a little bit more. Yes, um, all of the fees double for anyone that is considered a non-resident. So if you live in Harnett County, Spring Lake, Hope Mills, some of those areas, Hope County, those all double for our camps. Excellent. And, and I know you guys got, with all the different athletic camps, you got baseball, you got basketball, I think you got even football from mm -hmm. what I hear and some volleyball. But you know, there's a lot of other camps out there that you guys offer and Sherry's inside with Nelson to give you an insight on those camps. Well, thank you, Gavin and Katie. Uh, and in addition to the summer camps and the youth sports camps, we have other camps that uh, kids that might have different interests would be interested in. And I've got Nelson Soriano. He is here with me today to talk about some of those camps. Yes. So for kids who might not be interested in doing uh, you know, youth sports, what other types of camps do you have? Here at FCPR, we have multiple camps. We have um, dance camps, we have acting camps, we have crafts and painting. We also have outdoor camps where we do archery and we do uh, build fires and shelters. So we have multiple things for our kids to do. That sounds like great fun, but I think I'm probably too old to join, right? <laughs> uh, in spirit, in spirit. <laughs> what, what are the age groups? Sure, the ages usually go from anywhere at, from uh, three, as early as three, to late as 17. And are all of these camps week-long camps? Uh, no, ma'am. So we have some camps that are three days long or we have camps that go throughout the whole summer. Okay, so uh, parents can keep their kids busy all summer long because yes, they can go a week here, go three days there, pick another camp. Um, where can people go to get more information about all of the different camps that you offer and the cost and registration dates and things like that? Sure, the easiest way is to go online mm -hmm. at fcpr.us and there we have on that page, we have all our camps and classes and activities that we offer. And also you can go to, uh, come to any rec center and pick up one of these magazines that gives you all our activities in. All of the activities, not just okay. for the camps, but everything Correct. that FCPR offers. And um, can they also come into the recreation centers to register? Yes, ma'am. You can come into any one of our rec centers and speak to any of us and we can guide you to the right spot or you can go online and check it out. Well, thank you so much for that information. No problem. Be sure to get your kids registered today by visiting fcpr.us or visiting your local recreation center. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.